What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network here to bring you some more Attack on Titan in single player mode. I'm going, like I said, I'm going to be doing some more of this because I like it. I like it a lot. It's really, really fun. Oh shit, the volume's really hard. Um, it's really, really fun for me. And um, it's, it's allowing me to talk with, about some really cool issues with you guys. Not issues, but you know, just random things. And in the last episode, we were talking about manga and anime and what's kind of like categorized as being classified for me right now. And um, right now, I gotta say that um, uh, that AOT, like I was saying in the last episode, is one of my favorite anime ever. Top three, easily. At least for this stage of my life, you know? Because every 10 years, people tend to have difference in taste and opinions from what they did before. So, um, anyways, like I was saying, um, if some of you remember from the last video, I also really like Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter is one of my top three anime ever. And the reason for this, so, oh shit, you gotta be kidding me, you freaking crawler, you freaking crawler. I hate crawlers with every single ounce of fiber in my body. I got a lot of fiber in my body. Fuck the crawlers, man. All right. Now, let's talk about Hunter x Hunter. Because some of you are saying, oh, Hunter x Hunter, that has a lot of fantasy. That's a long anime. How did you have the patience for that, huh? Stupid nigga. <laughs> well, I mean, I, although I'm sure, well, anyways. Hunter x Hunter is an interesting exception to that because when I started watching Hunter x Hunter, it was actually two years ago. Um, or was it two years ago? I can't remember exactly. It was almost, it was close to being two years ago. I watched it a long time ago, man. In 2012, yeah, 2012 is when I watched it. Oh, I'm out of here, bitch. 2012 is when I watched Hunter x Hunter and I fell in love very soon. The reason why I got into Hunter x Hunter is because, um, I was playing this game that was only released in Japan called Jump Ultimate Stars. And my favorite character in that game was Kiryu. And since I did like this character in the game, it was a character that I really liked. And so I was saying to myself, hey, if I like this character, let me do some in let me do some research on his origin, right? And sure enough, when I found out that he was from an anime called Hunter x Hunter, I was like, well, I might as well just watch this. I've seen a little bit of stuff about it too much. I've seen a little bit of stuff, but not too much. You know, Hunter x Hunter isn't really advertised too much in America, or at least as much as I feel like it should be, considering the caliber of the anime. But I was like, you know what? Whatever. Let me take a look at the anime. Now, like some of you may know, Hunter x Hunter is somewhat of a long anime, and it does delve somewhat into fantasy, but not too much, you know? Like, that's the same thing that I'm saying with AOT. AOT delves into fantasy, too, but not too much where it, it scares me away, where it's like, okay, too complex for me to understand, or at least to have the patience to understand the difficult um, functioning in the world. Nah, AOT is fantasy, but not, not that much. Just enough to where it'll be like, this is interesting, but you know what I mean. Anyways, Hunter x Hunter now has the same concept, you know? It's fantasy oriented, but not too much. And it's very real, gritty. Hunter x Hunter is gritty. And um, I had been looking up scenes about it for a while, but I had never watched it. And I was saying to myself, I gotta watch this damn anime because you know, if I don't, I'm just gonna be having this favorite character I like to play with in the game. I'm not even gonna understand his origins. I'm all, I won't like him as much. So I decided to play Hunter x Hunter. I mean, I mean, I decided to watch Hunter x Hunter. And oh boy, I am glad I did because when I watched it, I, the first thing that I noticed was that, come on, there we go, baby. You like that, don't you? You like that, don't you? Um, when I first played Hunter x Hunter, it was like, <laughs> I keep saying play. When I first watched that shit, I was like, whoa, this anime is really, really gritty, you know? But it started off so kind and innocent with, you know, with, with the thumb gone and being in the village and just like a generic concept of, you know, not having his dad, but um, wanting to like follow in his footsteps. It was kind of like, heartwarming at first and the anime started off really really nice and I was like whoa is this really the same anime that I saw all those gruesome scenes from looking at preview clips and such and um, it was so I'll admit Hunter x Hunter bored me at first I was going to stop watching it because it kind of kept me bored but um, something about it that said you know what stick with it the whole Hunter exam thing and I'm not going to spoil too much because if you guys are worried about that don't worry I'm not gonna spoil anything but basically the whole Hunter exam thing and how the um the uh, people have to apply to be a hunter and the hunters get the most exclusive access to everything in the world as it is i was interested in that concept and the fact that this kid was going to go through with it and so now the anime is kind of like whoa okay this is a kind of serious now i can see how shit is getting serious and to be honest man after the hunter exam started and you know hisoka and kilula got involved and it was all about elimination it, it, it blew me away. It blew me away. I was like, wow, this anime is so gritty. Even though it was an old anime, it's an 
old anime. Hunter x Hunter is extremely old, but um, it just captivated me so much, man. Oh shit, you're kidding me. You're kidding me. Oh my god, the freaking crawler's right there. I'm about to get my shit snapped. Oh boy, okay, I gotta concentrate on this. I gotta concentrate, baby. I gotta concentrate. My ass is gonna get turned to grass if I don't stop fucking around. Don't, don't fuck around with me. Don't fuck around with me, you freaking piece of shit. Don't fuck around with me, you piece of shit. You piece of bitch. Oh, okay, he's coming. Come on, baby. You're not gonna get me! Oh, oh, oh. crawlers, man. Oh my god. I can't stand crawlers. I really cannot stand fucking crawlers. Alright. But yeah, Hunter x Hunter. I, to be honest, man, I can't even explain why I like it too much. It's just the story. It's just, like, and then what made me truly fall in love with it, like, even though Hunter x Hunter, by the time going the Hunter exam phase happened, the Hunter exam phase, I was kind of like really digging the anime, but I wasn't in love. And to be honest, after the Hunter exams were completed, it kind of made me feel like, okay, the anime has kind of reached that point now where it's going to end soon. But I saw there were a lot more episodes after the, hun the, Hunter, um, the Hunter exams ended. So I was like, what in the world could there be more about, you know? The kid, well, the per the p certain people achieved their dreams of becoming hunters, certified, like, certified, like, high-ranking people in the world, right? So, well, what else is there to do, you know? I, that's how I felt about it anyways. But, um, but I, I, I got, I got a reality check because it was only after the Hunter exams that shit got real. And when it got real, after the Hunter exams, I liked Hunter x Hunter a lot. It was definitely one of my favorites. But after the Hunter exams, when they reached the, um, the Black Spiders arc, I'm not going to spoil too much, but when they reached the Black Spiders arc, that was when that anime became one of the best I've ever witnessed in my life. Because the Black Spiders phase in, 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 in York New City, in York New City, that phase of Hunter x Hunter, oh my god, I was fucking blown away. And they included, um, and I don't want to reveal too much, but Hunter x Hunter is one of those anime that it starts off one way, and then something new is introduced after the Hunter exams is over. Like, after the Hunter exams end, something new is thrown in and it changes the perception of everything that happens in the world it's a mind blow because um let's just say that um the, the anime started sort of like dragon ball z where you know you kind of like have this one perception of how the world is and then when goku goes super saiyan something totally new is introduced at the end of the first season which changes everything for the next season before Super Saiyan, Dragon Ball Z was sort of different in a way. It was sort of different, but after Super Saiyan, it turned into a whole new anime. It, there was a, and it was for the better too. It turned into a whole new world, and that's exactly what happened with Hunter x Hunter. I'm not saying the main character went Super Saiyan or something, but there was a concept introduced after the Hunter exams ended in season one that changed the way that anyone viewed the um, anime for the better, because it made you realize that's why that person could do that. Or that's why that happened. You see, it, it's like that. And so when that concept was introduced and they reached a phase called, um, they reached a place called York New City, which is basically New York City, but York New. And York New, shit went down, it went down, and I was just like, oh my god, this is incredible. This, man, the black spiders in York New City, that made me say, this anime is one of the best anime I've ever watched in my life. Like, it's in the top three, the top three top three anime I ever watched in my goddamn life, man. Easily. Easily. Oh my god. Hunter x Hunter, man. After that, I was just, what? Floored. Floored with how incredible it was. And then, I don't, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna name out the scene too specifically so I can spoil people, but some of you, if you watched Hunter x Hunter, if you watched, damn it, you fucking, if you watched Hunter x Hunter, you'll know the scene I'm referencing. The, the symphony in the city, the symphony, the symphony when a certain person was on top of a building, just <clears throat> and then it was the, oh my god, the city! <laughs> Hunter x Hunter! Oh, I don't know if it's pronounced Hunter Hunter or Hunter x Hunter. Hunter x Hunter is what I say, man. Oh my god! Oh man. 
Corona Lucifer, my dude. Oh my god. Yeah, so you can see, you, you can see, I'm, I probably look silly right now, like getting all hype about it and I'm not even watching it, but oh my god, man. Oh my god. You cannot, you cannot, you cannot. And you know, I, I've met people that hate Hunter X Hunter. I've met people that hate it. So, you know, I'm not going to criticize you if you don't like it. But um, to me, to me, the anime is incredible. It's incredible. And the only reason why I haven't been watching it recently is because I haven't had the time to watch it. I just haven't had the time to get into it. I've been so busy doing other things. But um, I heard that it's in a crazy stage now. The last part that I saw of Hunter x Hunter was where the anime ended. The official anime, not the 2011 remake, which I plan on watching. But the original anime, it ended when, um, you know, when at the end of the Greed Island stage where um, the main character he gets in touch with a certain somebody. It's crazy. I can't wait to see what happened. I cannot wait because you know that's a big thing for a lot of people. Oh no 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 you ain't getting me bitch. Yeah I can't wait to see what happens when that main character meets that special person that he even wanted to meet. It's something I really I was like ready to cry at that point because the anime just got so incredible. And um and, and then the anime after the whole York New era went to a new stage which was called the um, Greed Island era, and I, that I really enjoyed it. I really, really enjoyed that. It was really nice to see. It's like such a change, you know. The York New Era seemed so dark and just evil, but the Greed Island era was so fun and lighthearted. It was really cool. It was. It was still crazy. Stuff was still incredibly like mind blowing, but it was more of a refreshing take on the series, and I liked it a lot. Um. I'm just going off on Hunter x Hunter for this whole fucking video, aren't I? But, uh, yeah, man, I, I, I love Hunter x Hunter. I just can't wait. And I heard that it gets really crazy now. I'm going to start watching the new episodes soon, because I know the original anime. Here, here's the thing. There's two anime for Hunter x Hunter. The original and then the 2011 remake, which is still going on right now. It still has episodes coming out. The 2011 remake, right? It's, um, it's, the, it's a brand new remake of the anime, which is really, really old. And it's still being released now. I think the episodes are coming out right now for it. And, um, oh, mang, mang, mang. The, the manga, of course, has surpassed the um, anime, both of them. But the first anime, the original anime that was released eons ago, it stops after Greed Island. Like, there's a certain era and it stops. Boom. No more episodes. It ends officially. But there's another, there, there's way more that happens after that, apparently. A lot more happens after Greed Island ends, but the anime just ends and says that's it. So it's sort of like Bleach, how Bleach ended recently, but the manga's still going. Exactly. So, fuck the Titans. So, because of this, what happens is that um, the, the, the creator said, yo, let's make another anime of this so we can cover everything that's happened in the manga up till now. So they made a new anime, and the anime was going to be called Hunter x Hunter 2011 because it was made in 2011 basically an awesome HD remake with um, new character voices and whatnot. Basically an HD remake. And this remake, man, I heard it's really, really good. I haven't watched any of the episodes from it, but I heard it's good. The remake is still going on to this day. And not only does it cover everything up to Greed Island, it goes all through Greed Island and goes past Greed Island. Now, when I was watching Hunter x Hunter, the original anime, two years ago, the, the, the 2011 anime hadn't even gone up to the York New City stage yet. So I was like, you know what, I'm not going to get into the remake until it at least surpasses the Greed Island era, the end of the Greed Island era. You know, I'm not going to watch the new anime until it at least catches up to where the old anime was, you know? How am I going to watch the new anime when it hasn't even gotten to where the old one is first? So once it gets there, then I'll start watching it. And it's gotten there and beyond. But I still want to give it some time before I watch it. Because, you know, once I get that epic stuff going in, I don't want it to get cut off. Yeah, anyways, that was me going on about Hunter x Hunter. Incredible anime. I highly suggest you guys watch that. But um, anyway, I'm not going to take up too much of you guys' time. Thank you for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this video, even though it's kind of really different from the kind of videos that I usually do. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.